I was fortunate enough to receive the Spirit of Enterprise Award from the Chamber of Commerce. And now we're going to go down and visit with some people who are being very, very active in malaria, uh, fighting it, nothing but nets. So, she's one of our champions. My great pleasure today to introduce and to give our Congressional Leadership Award to Senator John Bozeman from Arkansas. We've got a lot of problems going on in the world. Malaria is one that, that we simply can fix. We're all working together, and as a result, literally saving hundreds of thousands of lives. So give yourselves a big pat on the back. And, and yeah. Thank you all so much. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Senator Bozeman? There is a tremendous effort in a very bipartisan way to, uh, to see if we can get broadband uh, included and uh, we do appreciate all of your all's help. It's a long way from Arkansas so I'll we'll always make it a priority to meet with constituents who come to town. This is my son Spencer. My son Cole. So tell me about you guys. Spring break gave many Arkansans a chance to see Washington and take a tour of the Capitol given by my staff. In your opening statement, you mentioned the challenges ahead in the energy sector. In this hearing, the committee questioned the president's nominee to serve on the board of directors of the Tennessee Valley Authority. As a U.S. Senator, I represent the entire state, so I have the opportunity to hear from lots of Arkansans advocating for their interests or just sharing their goals on legislation and policy. Well, here we are in this very, very pretty room right off the Senate floor and uh, had a policy lunch earlier, uh, a few out an hour or so ago, discussing policy. General Mattis was actually there talking about uh, stuff that's going on in Yemen. And uh, now just got through visiting with some of our constituents, talking about Save the Children. And then in a few minutes, I'm going to go out on the Senate floor and talk about a very, very timely topic is so important, the bill that we're trying to, to get passed. Thank you, Mr. President. As you know, our chamber is focused on a heavy subject at the moment, human trafficking. The Stop Enabling Sex Traffickers Act will reform a misuse provision in the current law that allows companies to evade prosecution for online businesses that facilitate human trafficking. I was proud to support the legislation. I value the opportunity to talk with our Kansans. They share materials with me so that I can be better informed on their priorities. Along with everything else going on, I'm off to go vote. On this day, the Senate voted on the motion to table the Yemen War Powers Resolution. I supported tabling this because the policy would harm our allies and embolden Iran. I've got a full schedule and my staff helps me keep on time and gives me updates on legislative issues before the Senate. It's been a long and busy day, but I'm grateful to serve Arkansas and that makes it all worthwhile. It's truly an honor to represent you in the Senate. So tell me about you guys. 